up guys, Jeff Cavalier, AthleanX.com. Let's see if we can destroy one of the most long-standing protein myths in under four minutes Athlean Express style, and that being, does applying heat to protein destroy its value? Does it destroy its muscle building properties? In whey protein manufacturing, is heat, when it's added, something that's gonna completely devalue that protein? Well, let's take a look and see what we're talking about. The source of the protein, guys, you know, I like to draw here. The source, it doesn't matter whether we're talking about whey, or they're talking about meat, or they're talking about fish. Your protein source is going to have protein molecules and allergens. Now, allergen is something that is going to interact with our own body's immunoglobulins to produce an immune-boosting event unless you're, you happen to be allergic to that allergen. Okay, that's how allergens work. Let's take that out of the equation for the second. Right here, you, pay, you take these two molecules, you apply heat to them, one of two things will happen. You're going to either denature that or you're going to coagulate it. Denaturing is going to be where we change the shape of that molecule, and coagulation is going to be where the molecules start to clump together. But what's important is, at the end of the day, what's left is a newly shaped protein molecule that's still here and still intact, and a situation where the allergen is either here still or gone. Now, whether it's here or gone, it's dependent upon the protein source, and I'll get to that in a second. The only loss that you'll see from this, this application of heat to the protein might be in the form of one essential amino acid, which is lysine, because you can't get it, uh, your body can't make it itself, but that's only 20% in a very high heat condition. If you're that worried about it, guys, you can always have supplemental lysine because it's very, very inexpensive. But what's most important is, it doesn't matter what shape this is, if you start out with 25 grams of liquid egg whites, you apply heat, you got 25 grams of solid egg whites. And the same thing when you're looking at your whey proteins, whether or not you're doing cold uh, process microfiltration, or whether you are applying heated tactics to your whey protein manufacturing, you're still going to have 30 grams at the start and 30 grams over here. Now you guys know I'm a proponent of using cold processing. Because I feel like, why throw away the other half of the equation here when you don't have to? And that is the immune boosting properties, especially of whey. When you apply heat to the immune boosting properties of whey, they get destroyed. Lactoferrin is one of them. It's going to go. It's going to get destroyed. It's going to be this situation over here. If we want to maintain the best of all worlds of our protein, we won't allow that to happen. But again, the myth out there that you're losing protein content, that just doesn't happen, guys. So no matter what process you're using, you're still going to wind up with the muscle building properties of your whey protein regardless of what is being done to it. Now, real quick, just to summarize, your eggs are going to have your, your two allergens. One's going to be destroyed by heat and one isn't. Peanuts, they're actually going to be intensified by heat. So if somebody had a peanut allergy, way worse to actually have a, uh, like a roasted peanut than it would be to have a non-heated uh, version of that. Fish, completely un, uh, unaffected. So, that's a mouthful, but in the, in the end of the game, guys, we basically still have protein as a protein, no matter what you're doing to it. You might want to take some supplemental lysine. Your immune boosting properties could be affected, but if that's not so much of a concern, then it wouldn't really matter how your protein was manufactured. That said, guys, we do care how we manufacture our protein. We apply cold processes because we do want to have our immune boosting properties. If they're going to benefit you, I want them in there. We don't want to be changing anything if we don't have to. That's why in Athlean RX we apply the cold processes to what we do. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully, I don't know how close I was to four minutes, but you get the idea. We just wanted to make sure that we're addressing the real stuff here. This is always about at Athlean X giving you guys the information that you need. And a matter of fact, when we talk about even our supplements here, it's about giving you guys only what you need and nothing that you don't. And that's why Athlean RX has become one of the highest quality, most sought after brands out there because the, the applications of science that we put into our videos every week is the same application we put into our supplements that you guys can trust in. If you haven't already tried them, guys, head over to AthleanRx.com right now and try your first supplement bundle. In the meantime, guys, if you found this video helpful, make sure you leave a thumbs up and a comment below. What else would you like to see? I know you like to see me at the whiteboard from time to time. Let me know what you want me to cover, and I surely will. All right, guys, we'll be back here again real soon. Thanks.